So you want to get jobs like this that are high paying jobs within the tech industry. But how do you actually do this? In this video, I want to go in and give you guys three easy steps for you guys to accomplish this. Okay, so let's get into it completely free. Just watch the video. Step number one is actually acquiring the skills. That's the only thing that's stopping you from being able to apply to this type of positions because without the skills, you won't be able to do the actual job, right? That's just how it is. That's real life. So that's the only thing that's stopping you right now. You don't have the skills, but you actually want to get this type of job. So you need to find the right platform for you somewhere where they're going to teach you skills that are relevant to the job positions that you want to go for and they're there teaching you not to learn to code but to actually do the things that they need you to do at the job okay so I'll, let's go into this job description of this position here right there's a real job description okay so they need you to know html css javascript proficiency right knowing javascript and knowing how to work with a framework at least react or angular or Vue, responsive design cross browser compatibility user experience and design uh ui design tools knowing your way how to take out uh, assets maybe from adobe photoshop or figma right or sketch right knowing how to use version control knowing how to use css preprocessors like sas or less right knowing how to use tools like gulp or grunt or webpack right or Vite, browser developer tools web performance optimization maybe some testing web accessibility of course using some type of front-end framework maybe bootstrap tailwind right css grid and flexbox communication collaboration and continuous learning okay those are the things that are required for you to get this type of job now again this is a high paying job so the requirements are going to be a little bit higher because hey they're paying you a big bag so if they're going to pay you a big bag you need to be somebody that's qualified and has experience and knowledge in web development okay but there's definitely a lot of different jobs out there like content editor email developer web producer job positions that you could get started with with just html css and the basics of javascript so again you don't have to go in and say well i can only get a job once i have all of the skills once you have at least 25 to 35 percent of the skills that we just mentioned there's a role for you out there but again you need to learn the skills without that and having the right platform that can teach you that you won't be able to go anywhere okay now step number two you need to have a portfolio with relevant projects to the job you're trying to actually apply to yes okay you need to prove that you know what you're doing okay and the best way to do this is by have a portfolio that looks great and also have the projects that are relevant to that position you're applying to so i give you guys a couple of examples here right this is john de lorenzo's he's going for email development right guess what the type of projects that he has is email developer projects projects real emails for real companies and he's actually going in and building them and putting it into his portfolio so if someone's going to look for an email developer and they look at this portfolio looks great right got the skills right uh has a nice about section but then he's proven that yes if you give me a design i can go and build you this type of emails same thing as stefan right shout out to stefan right here he has a great portfolio but he also has some really good looking projects so if he's going for a front-end developer role right this is a real project that someone will look at and say oh wow he's using apis he's very comfortable with design he's very comfortable with css uh flexbox uh grids right attention to detail great portfolio same thing as Shadab. If we look at his portfolio, he has a portfolio where he has full stack applications. He has a live chat room. He also has a inventory management system that he built with Node.js, right? He has an application that connects to the movie database API, right? So he's comfortable with React, comfortable with Tailwind, comfortable with uh, Next.js. So again, he's proving the skills that he has you need to have a solid portfolio not just little to do apps not just little random projects that you do on youtube you need to actually go in and prepare projects that people will pay for now if you have those things those two things the skills and then the proof that you can actually do the work guess what comes now step number three and i do want to remind you guys that before we get to step number three 
I want to let you guys know that, yes, at codingphase.com, this is what we focus on, okay? We don't focus on just learning to code. We don't teach coding as a hobby, right? Learn the skills that are actually worth learning and getting results, okay? We focus on things strictly on what's happening within the industry. For example, some of the best jobs for junior developers, for people who are just starting, content editor, HTML email developer, right? You got React developer, PHP developer, Shopify theme developer. We focus on things that are in high demand, right? With not a lot of competition, but we focus strictly on the skills that you need to get for the job. We're not just teaching you some random, you know, Raspberry Pi, you know, and Arduino, clap on, clap off, how to turn on the lights in your room. No, we're, we're not focusing on that, right? This is not coding for fun. This is, we're having fun, but we're working towards a goal, which is we wanna get a bag. We wanna get some money, okay? So again, how are you gonna get paid? By getting a job or freelancing or building your own business. If you are not focusing on that, you're not gonna get no results, okay? So let's continue to step number three. Step number three is probably the hardest one and it's interviews, okay? Yes, but before you even get to step number three, without step number one, learning the skills and having a solid portfolio on step number two, you getting an interview is gonna be difficult, okay? Now, the good thing is that once you are getting interviews, that means you have been validated. You have the skills and you qualify for this job positions. Now, going through the interview process can be hard for some people. And the reason is not because it's hard to get the job position, it's because people have never done this type of interviews. People have never had to go to an interview and explain their projects and learn the lingo and learn about certain things that they're asking of you that you maybe have never heard because the courses you took only showed you how to code. They didn't show you how to actually do things on the job. They just showed you how to do a little couple of functions and a couple of divs here and there. They didn't show you what you was actually going to be doing on the job. So when they ask you those things, this is where you hit them with the, um, yeah, um, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Once you hit them with that, guess what? You don't sound confident. So why should I go in and give you this position, right? When you're not confident in the skills that you have, you're not confident in explaining that you have actually done this before. You get what I'm saying? Companies pay people to produce. Companies don't pay people to train them, okay? And when they do go in and have a budget where they are able to go in and train and mold people is usually for like Ivy League students where, you know, you come from, I don't know, MIT, Stanford, right? And you're doing really good over there in that system. And then they come in and say, well, he's never really done web development, so but he's done great with robotics. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's great with AI, but guess what? We'll take a, a risk on, on him because he has the foundation and he's coming from a great background, right? But for people like you and me, we regular folks, you know what I'm saying? We, we just trying to get in, right? So how do we get through that process of the interview process? It's very simple. You need to go to as many interviews as possible. Just because you went to the third or fourth interview and you didn't get that job doesn't mean that you quit. Or you say, well, the industry is so saturated. I'm, I'm going to quit. I can't do this. No. Every single interview, you're learning something new. They're giving you gems. They're giving you questions that you have never heard of. They're asking about things that you have never done before. This is when you go home and you go in and prepare for that. You know what I'm saying? Now, the more interviews that you go to, the more confident you become. Those projects that you have on your portfolio, now you know how to explain them more because you've done them so many times, right? You've done four or five interviews, six interviews, right? Sometimes I've seen people go seven, eight interviews, right? But the thing that's the most important thing about this is that you don't want to go in and have one interview per month. You want to have multiple interviews per month. So for example, if it's going to take you seven to eight interviews for you to get comfortable and be able to pass an interview or answer what they're asking of you, right? Confidently, guess what? You want to be able to do that within two months. Now, if you're only getting one interview per month and you actually need to go through like seven, eight, 
then this is where it takes you eight months to find a job, right? So again, by having step number one and step number two, the skills, right? Learning the skills at a platform and building the right portfolio relevant to the job position, right? That's going to allow you to get the most interviews, right? And then from there, you're going to be able to get to the high paying jobs that you want. Now, guys, remember this line. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Okay. Everybody has their own journey. And I want to go in and show you guys this because the majority of people that work at Google, right? The number one company that every developer wants to work at. Most of their developers don't start straight from college or straight from a boot camp or straight from an online course they took. It takes them multiple jobs before they even get to that level of working at Google. Okay. So when you're hearing people coming in and say, Hey man, I got this great high paying job. A lot of times you don't know their work history. They're what I call their car facts. Okay. And I'll give you guys an example of this developer software engineer at Google. I deleted his photo and his name just to protect his privacy. Right. But pretty much you could see in his journey, and guess what? Started 2013, right? Uh, developer, kitchen surfing, right? Then you have Eco Health Alliance, right? These are small to medium sized businesses, right? Same thing over here, right? Uh, freelance for a little while, right? Well, he was doing that. And then from there, he ended up working at Google, okay? But we're looking at this journey, right? This is what? A seven year journey to get to Google. And you might see some situations where someone does get hired straight out of college at Google, but that is not the norm, okay? Most people have to work their way up there, okay? So when you look at these job positions that are $100,000, $200,000, right? Again, you don't have to start here to get to this type of positions, okay? You could go in and start at a, you know, company that is maybe having you do some WordPress as a digital agency. Maybe you're doing email development for Delta or a Caribbean cruise line, or maybe you are working as a content editor for ESPN, or you're working for Disney, helping them with their content or Disney plus, or you're working with Paramount. Like there's a lot of big companies out there that are not starting you at 130, $150,000. They might start you at 75 at 85, but guess what? You're working towards to get to this goal. Okay. Uh, and again, you don't have to go in and learn all of the skills just at once. You can learn these skills over time. Okay. So again, this is one of those things that I always tell people, if you follow those three steps, if you focus on the three steps, getting the skills, building your portfolio, and then going to the interviews, you're going to be golden. And as long as you have this saying in the back of your mind, this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. You're always going to get to your goal. Now, folks, if you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe and like the video, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think. Also come through codingphase.com, guys, come give it a chance. Come check it out, right? We don't teach coding as a hobby, learn skills that are actually worth learning and, and getting results. Okay. If you're looking to get results this year, you need to focus on those three things. And that's what we do at codingphase.com. We make sure that you go through the first step, learning the skills that you need to get the job position. Number two, validating that you now have the skills by proving it with solid portfolio projects. And then from there, guiding you through that process as you're going to the interviews. Okay. But you're not going to get no interviews unless you go through step one and step two. So make sure you come to codingphase.com and check it out. All right. Anyways, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Peace.